Okay, just to clarify the um, leak of the oil cooler into the into the coolant. Um, so this is the old radiator I used. Um, it's actually a replacement um, aluminium radiator. So we have the oil cooler unions here and here, and the coolant runs from here um, down to here, and you have the this um, outlet going to the expansion bottle. So what I've done here is I've blocked off the oil cooler and the two main um, coolant unions with some rubber and some Jubilee clips, um, but kept the expansion tank free. So just to show then, if I pump air using my track pump into the oil um, cooler, just to show that I'm able to get um, air coming out of the coolant, which I shouldn't get, um, so just to show that the oil cooler is leaking into the water. Um, so to demonstrate that, uh, it's a bit Blue Peter style, I have my bucket of water and my track pump, uh, the radiator that way around, just so that the um, outlet to the expansion bottle is under the water. So, like I say, the coolant um, things are blocked off with rubber. Um, and I'm pumping into one of the ends of the oil cooler with the other end blocked off. Um, so if this was everything was fine, you shouldn't get any air coming out of the expansion. Thing. So pumping it up. You can see lots of air coming out of the expansion um, union. Coming out of it's not coming out of the oil thing, it's coming out of the expansion tank. So yeah, really that just demonstrates that it was really the radiator that was at fault, um, not the cylinder head gasket. <coughs> so it should be a good engine. Thank you very much.